If you want to create quality videos, but you find the whole process kind of overwhelming, I wanted to show you an AI platform that will do a lot of the heavy lifting for you. And by the way, for the last 15 years, my main company has been a video production company and I've created a ton of videos, probably over a thousand videos for different companies. And I've also been creating YouTube videos for almost eight years now. I think I've created 1500 or so videos. So I'm always in the search for finding better ways, faster ways, easier ways for creating high quality videos. So I wanted to show you this platform called V. This is one of the most comprehensive video creation platforms that I've come across. And I've partnered with them for this video to show you the process of creating high quality videos with the help of AI. Okay, so what is Vita exactly? This is an AI powered video creation platform for creators, businesses, and teams. And I'm going to walk you through all the key benefits for creating your first project here with V. Now, one of the key things with this platform, this has everything in one place. So you don't have to subscribe to ton of different tools. They partner with all the top leading tools. And this has ton of different AI tools, some for the video creation process, some for the video editing process. Now I'm gonna cover multiple different things in this video. The very first one is gonna be just creating a video from a simple text prompt. That's gonna get us started right over here. I'll link this below. If you wanna follow along, you could get started for free here. And once you log into your account, this is what it's gonna look like. So you're gonna see the create tab will get started here. And then you have ton of different options for editing. That's gonna be under AI edits. Under the create tab, we'll go ahead and start a new project from over here. And as you look through, I'm not gonna cover every single thing with this platform, but you could record the video directly from here. You could go ahead and clone yourself and turn yourself into an AI avatar. We're also gonna look at turning our projects into clips here. They have AI dubbing. And then I'll show you some more things inside of AI edits right now let's create a new project now you could drag and drop an existing video here you could record a video but i want to show you this option start with ai right here and i'll just start with a simple prompt just to show you even a one sentence prompt can get you started here we're announcing the relaunch of our ai education platform skill leap ai i'll press generate here and by the way veed has partnered with some of the top ai tools so some of the platforms like OpenAI, NVIDIA, 11 Labs, DeepL, which is my favorite tool for translations. A lot of those are included here because of this all-in-one subscription. Okay, so now we have this editing page that I wanted to show you. So by default, what it's done for us is we have a music track, we have our subtitles, and we have this text-to-speech over here. So it picked all of that, all from that text prompt. The next thing we could do is we could decide where this is gonna go. So typically, this is where I like to start. If we wanna go short format, that is what it's designed for. But if I wanna make a standard YouTube video, it's kind of one click away here to repurpose that. This is a little bit easier to see, so I'll leave it on here. Okay, I'll just play a few seconds of it, but we're gonna to wanna to change a few different things, including the background and things like that. But let me just show you what we got so far. We're thrilled to announce the relaunch of Skill Leap AI, your go-to platform for mastering artificial intelligence with a fresh design. Now, obviously this is very specific to my platform, so I do need to change some of these visuals here, but you could see it's created the captions for us, it's created the script, it's picked the voice, all the different things we need to get started. Now, a few different things I wanna change, okay? So over on the left side, you'll see all kinds of different options for changing out the video. So you wanna upload your video files if you have any. In this case, I probably wanna do some screen capture of my own website and add it over here or I could go to this stock video section. Let me actually show you this because you could search for all kinds of different things. And I search for AI over here. And I kind of like this. I want to see if this works. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. I've already downloaded this one. So this is just like a normal editor here. I could shrink this down to just line up with the previous clip. Let me press play to see if this is better. We're thrilled to announce the relaunch of Skill Leap AI. Okay, that's kind of funny. I think this will work a little bit better than some boring screenshot of the homepage of our website. So that's one way you could go about it. Just kind of look at these clips one at a time. If one doesn't make sense or you think it's too generic, just go ahead and go to that library and pick one. And what I really like about this is just very intuitive to drag and drop these type of things. Then you have your music. So this selected one by default for you, but you have all these different options for changing the volume and doing all kinds of edits or just replacing the audio altogether and just picking yourself a different track that you like more. I think this actually did a good job, so I'm gonna leave that one. You have your subtitles, and with any of them, this is fully editable here on the left side. And as you make edits, you'll just see the edited subtitles right in the center here. And these are movable too, so you could put them on the bottom here 
So in this case, I'll just kind of move this one down. Now, the other option you have is you could add AI avatars to the mix. So I usually like to do that with these type of AI generated videos to kind of spice it up. So I could choose from all kinds of different AI avatars here. I don't have to subscribe to a different platform for this one. And I could create my own and clone myself if I want. In this case, I'm just gonna pick one from this list and then you could copy and paste the script over here. The script is also available under the subtitle section that it auto created for us. So I just copied and paste that from here. And this is for a 30 second ad. So I'm gonna go ahead and generate the whole thing over here and we'll move her as soon as this is done. You see every time it creates a new track for you so you could independently edit these. So if you wanna make this shorter or move this person to the left, it won't interfere with the layers underneath it. If you've ever used any type of editing program, I like the fact that this is kind of designed the same way, so it's very intuitive in that way. Now, while this is generating here, let me show you a few different things. So you have a brand kit, which I also recommend that you use, where you could add different assets based on your brand. So if you use a specific font throughout your marketing, you may want to add that. Or if you have a brand color that you want to add, you could add that here. And obviously your logo could be added. Any audio and video could also be added to your brand kit, like if you already have a video intro or a spinning logo or something like that. And then all that is gonna be available every time you create your video here. Okay, looks like our model is done. So I'm gonna move this model. Let's go to this side of the screen here. Okay, let me go ahead and press play. And I've already deleted, by the way, the previous audio track and the captions here. Since I technically pasted a new script, let me just press play for a little bit. We're thrilled to announce the relaunch of Skill Leap AA. You'll go to platform for mastering artificial. Okay, this is not bad. So far, so good. Then I want to come over here to the subtitle and go ahead and generate the subtitles here. Every time you create these avatars, you're going to add your own subtitles to it. And then you could start with your own script this way too. I just used the script that was generated, but you can copy and paste any script into it. And here's a bunch of different options I have. Maybe I'll pick this one this time and kind of scrub through to see what that looks like. Okay, that's not bad, that's pretty good. I like when it highlights one word at a time over here. And again, I could edit these, I could change the styling over here, a bunch of different options available. Now, what's really nice about this is this has an option for you to quickly resize or center and fit based on other platforms because other platforms, you're gonna to wanna to change some things, right? Here's a square one. Does everything look good? Do I need to center and fit this one? Do I need to make any adjustments? Do I need to add a background color if I'm cropping this? So all that is available right here and it duplicates it for you. It doesn't overwrite the existing one. So this is really nice. A very easy, fast way to repurpose this for other platforms. And this option is really nice, creating clips. So you could choose this option right here and you could literally copy and paste a YouTube link over here and it will create clips for you automatically from here. This works great for longer form videos. So I'm gonna add a YouTube link over here, press get clips, choose the style right here. So in this case, you could go portrait or you could go landscape. I'll go portrait over here. And then you could choose your style for your captions. You could see that down here like this. Viral shorts or just highlights. This is a top seven type of a video. So I think highlights makes more sense. And the length of the clip, it could be up to 60 seconds. I'm gonna choose the auto version. And then this is gonna repurpose that video for us, create clips for us. So if you are a content creator, this is a huge time saver, right? You don't have to manually figure out which portion of your long form needs to turn into short form. Okay, so it's created these different clips for us. And if you look on top, it gives us a score in four different categories, flow, impact, clarity, and relevance. And typically the ones with the highest score show up on top. And then you could scroll down, you could listen to every single one here. Usually I listen to the ones on top to see which one's the best fit. Okay, I'll go ahead and randomly click on one that has a pretty good score. Let's see what it sounds like. So Perplexity actually has DeepSeek R1 and they have it available in the free accounts. I have the paid pro. Account. Okay, so you get the idea here and I could make some edits. Maybe I wanna bring this caption up and I did not create this video this way at all. So it took a horizontal video and made it vertical. It moved me down here. I was just kind of creating videos for YouTube, but I'm trying to repurpose it here for vertical. I'm gonna go ahead and press edit on that page. It's gonna bring me here. And then this caption right here is fully editable. I could move it up. I could also change any of it here if I wanna correct anything that it misspelled. Usually does a really good job with spelling here. And if I wanna change the style, you could always change the style just with one click and it will change the caption style. 
and then I could kind of scrub through this to make sure everything looks good over here. And then when I'm happy, I'm going to go ahead and press done. And from here, I could go ahead and export the video. It's going to be in HD quality in vertical format and ready to post to any social media platform I want. Okay, this last thing I wanted to show you is probably one of my favorite things because me and my team spend a lot of time doing these kind of edits. So here's an eight and a half minute video of me talking and it's probably about half of it is either redundant takes or things that shouldn't make it in the video. So right over here, I just imported that clip into a new project and this magic tools option lets you do a whole lot of different things. Some of them are shown you before, like this auto subtitle, but you could also remove background noise if you have noisy audio. A lot of us are not gonna have a studio to sit in. You could remove any silences. You could even remove the background and it does a very high quality job even if you're not sitting in front of any type of green screen. But this is one of my favorites right here, Magic Cut. Okay, let me click on this to show you what it does. Get a professional edit in one click. Remove silences, filler words, and multiple takes. That's incredible. Okay, so this is gonna go to work. And again, this is eight and a half minutes. Let's see what we end up getting once this is done. Now that took maybe 15 seconds and right now it already cut half the video. I'm just under five minutes now and I could go in the beginning and I could press play. I'm not gonna play it for you here, but I've done this many times now and it's literally saved me half the time of editing because before I had to go through that eight minutes of footage, cut it down and then probably go through it again to make sure there are no mistakes. Well now I only have to go through about four and a half minutes worth of footage and then take out anything that I don't want. All the redundant takes, all the pauses already taken out with just that one click over here. And again, I have other options too that I could add on top of that if I'm using this for editing. Now, obviously I'm just touching the surface here. There's a whole lot more on these AI edit tools under the create tool. There's a whole library of different templates. You could even create your own templates if you're gonna make videos in the same type of theme here. And I've been in video productions for a very long time and it used to be pretty hard, but Veed makes it pretty simple. I'll include a link in the description for you to try it out for yourself. Thanks again for Veed for partnering with me on this video and I'll see you on the next video.